With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's discuss the question. If 6x square minus 5x minus 3 upon x square minus 2x plus 6 is less than or equal to 4, then the least and highest value of 4x square are. So let's begin with the solution of this question. So first we will just solve this inequality to get the range of x and then we will just choose the value of x for which this 4x square is a maximum or minimum that is a least and highest value. So here first we will just take this 4 on the left hand side. So we can like rate like this that is it will be 6x square 6x square here this will be minus 5x and here this will be minus 3 it is divided by this x square minus 2x and plus 6 and taking this 4 on the left hand side so it will be minus 4 this is less than or equal to 0. So taking the LCM here so we can write this as the LCM is x square minus 2x plus 6 that is the LCM of one end this whole expression so it will be this only. Similarly multiplying this by cross multiplication so we can write this as 6x square minus 5x and here this will be minus 3 and multiplying this with this minus 4 so it will be minus 4 multiplied by this x square minus 2x and plus 6 and the whole expression having a denominator this this will be less than or equal to 0 so if we will simplify this so we can get this as 6x square here so 6x square minus 5x and here this is minus 3 and minus 4x square minus 4x square and plus 8x that is minus 4 into minus 2 so it will be plus 8 so plus 8x and minus 4 multiplied by this 6 so it will be minus 24 so minus 24 here and in the denominator that is the same expression that is x square minus 2x and here this will be plus 6 so from here if we'll just simplify this so we can write this is less than or equal to 0 so 6x square minus 4x square it will be 2x square and minus 5x plus 8x so it will be plus 3x and here this minus 3 and minus 24 so it will become minus 27 and here also in the denominator so we can just split this 6 of the denominator so we can write this as x square minus 2x and uh, here this will be let's split this 6 into two parts that is 1 and 5 so plus 1 plus 5 and here this will be less than or equal to 0 so if we'll just consider the formula that is x minus 1 whole square or we can say a minus b whole square so we can write this as a square minus 2ab and here this will be b square so this whole expression this whole expression if we'll just consider this as this so this will become a minus b whole square because here it is x square that is x whole square here this will be minus 2 that is this minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 1 and here this is 1 square that is 1. So we can write this whole expression that is this whole function it will be like this that is 2x square here this will be plus 3x minus 27 and here this will be this x minus 1 whole square plus 5 and here this will be less than or equal to 0. Now if we will just observe this whole expression so this denominator is always positive because this x minus 1 whole square it is always positive or it can be 0 but cannot be negative and since this 5 is a positive value so positive plus positive is always positive so here we can write that this is always this is always positive positive value so this is always positive it means that the sign of this whole inequality is decided by the numerator only so we will just use the numerator to find the critical point so first we'll just factorize this whole numerator so here we can just write that it will be the factor will be 9 and 6 because we can write this as 2x square and here this will be let's split this 3 like this that is 9x minus 6x because we can write 9x minus 6x in place of 3x and here this will be minus 27 and the denominator let's consider let's say that this is d and d is positive so here this denominator x minus 1 whole square plus 5 this is always positive this expression will be less than or equal to 0 so factorizing this expression that is this taking this x common from first two term we can write this as x multiplied by 2x plus 1 and taking 3 common from these two we can write this as minus 3 and here this will be this 2x plus 1 only so this will be 2x plus 9 here this is 2x plus 9 and here taking 3 common so it will be 6x upon 3 it will be 2x so 2x here and here this 27 upon 3 so it will be 9 so here this will be plus 9 only and here this will become this denominator x minus 1 whole square plus 5.
this is less than or equal to 0. So from here taking this 2x plus 9 common from whole expression we can write into two linear factors. So we can write this whole expression it will become like this that is it is x minus 3 it is x minus 3 x minus 3 multiplied by this is multiplied by 2x plus 9 and here it will be denominator so it is always positive value so we can let's consider that it is a positive value because the sign here we need the value of x depending on this sign this sign is less than or equal to 0 so this whole expression because a positive value doesn't change the sign of any expression so it will be less than or equal to 0 so here we are having two critical point because we are just equating this and this to 0 so x minus 3 if it is equal to 0 so from here x will be equal to 3 similarly this uh, x this 2x plus 9 2x plus 9 this is equal to 0 so we are having this as x belong to minus 9 by 2 now if we will just draw the number line so we can write this as drawing the number line we can having this that is let this will be our x equal to minus 9 by 2 and let this will be x equal to 3 so from here we are having this less than or equal to sign in this expression less than or equal to it means that we are just taking the value of x for which the function is negative or equal to 0 so since the function is 0 for these two critical point so x will belong to between this interval because if we'll just consider a value which is greater than this 3 so after 3 this x minus 3 this x minus 3 or here also we can consider this x minus 3 so it will be positive similarly putting a value which is greater than 3 so this expression will already be positive so here this will be a positive value because positive multiplied by positive is always positive similarly if we are considering a value before this minus 9 by 2 so this will be negative and this will also be negative it means that the whole value will be positive because product of two negative will be positive so between this two between these two number it is negative so here we can just consider that this is our interval in which this is negative or equal to 0 so we can write the final value of x so x will belongs to x belongs to close interval that is minus 9 by 2 be considered so minus 9 by 2 to this close interval 3 now we need to find the maximum and minimum value of 4x square so 4x square 4x square for this function if we are having the minimum value so minimum value will be 0 minimum value will be 0 because x equal to 0 is between this interval so x equal to 0 is a valid value according to this inequality so for a valid value because if you will just put minus 9 by 2 or any negative number so square will be positive so a smallest value for this function if we are considering that minimum value of this so it will be only 0 at x equal to 0 so at x equal to 0 this 4x square 4x square it is equal to 0 so this is the minimum value or we can say least this is the least value so this is the least value of the expression now we need to find the maximum value so greatest value so greatest value greatest greatest value so since minus 9 by 2 minus 9 by 2 if we will say x equal to minus 9 by 2 it is equal to minus 4.5 minus 4.5 so square of minus 4.5 will be same as the square of 4.5 so we this is the value for which this 4x square will be maximum because this is greater than 3 also the square of 4.5 or minus 4.5 will be the same so square of 4.5 is greater than the 3 square so this will be 4 into this 4.5 whole square so maximum value for greatest value x will be equal to minus 9 by 2 and the greatest value we need to find so we can write 4 into minus 9 by 2 whole square so squaring this we get 4 multiplied by 81 by 4 it is equal to 81 because this 4 and 4 get cancelled out so answer for this question is 81 is the highest value and the least value is 0 so if we'll just check our option so least value is 0 and highest value is 81 so option A is the correct answer that is 0 and 81 thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.